Here's a video of your 2020-295 QSL8. You can uh, bring your TV outside if you want to watch TV outside. You can drop it in the bracket. There's a similar um, bracket and everything inside. And you can plug it into electricity and you can listen to music outside. Uh, the awning is powered. That's the push of a button. So you'll just uh, push the button, run that in and out. Um, propane tanks are full and ready to go. It'll uh, run off one tank and switch over automatically. So what you do is you're pointing to this tank. When it runs out, it turns red and the switch is over. So if you're pointing here and it's green, you're on the first tank. If it's red, then, then you're on the last tank. Here's your storage area. Um, you got a 100 amp hour interstate battery up front. You got a 50 amp power cord. And then uh, this is an inverter. This will power that refrigerator that we talked about. So um, turn that on when you run the refrigerator and uh, your truck should charge the battery running down the road. So that shouldn't be a big deal. refrigerator that runs off electric that's plugged in and ready to go if you want to add a solar panel you can plug a solar panel in here while you're camping and uh, keep your batteries charged up that way this button here will extend and retract the legs and then uh, you got some uh, docking lights up front um, this hitch has some unique uh, features on it what you can do is take these two bolts out and you can put this plate underneath the pin and what that does is it locks your hitch in and it changes the pivoting from this spot to back here. So if you had a shorter bed, that would really give you some more distance when you turn. Here's your uh, blue LED lights on the front cab. Uh, this is a cable and satellite dish hookups. City water connections here. This is where you hook your hose up and you'll run off the pressure from the hose. If you don't have water, you take the cap off, you stick a hose in there, you fill up your tank. If you're using the portable tank, use the water pump. If you're hooked up to the city, it runs off the pressure from the hose. There's air intake and exhaust for the furnace. Sewer hookups are there. Um, the gate valve in the back is for the kitchen sink tank. That's called the galley. So you pull that, that'll dump the kitchen sink. And then you got your black in the front and the gray in the back. So what you want to do is hook your sewer hose up. Pull the black gate valve first, dump the waste. After the waste is dumped, you'll come over here and hook a hose up to the black tank flush, and that'll clean your um, sewer tank out for you. Shut the hose off, close the black, pull the gray, that'll rinse your sewer hose out for you. And then again, you got the second gray in the back. You, can, you probably should just do that one last. To dump the freshwater tank, you turn that um, white petcock valve on that blue line, and that'll drain the freshwater tank. Here's your water heater, it runs off gas or electric. If you want to turn off electric, your switch is here. If you want to turn off propane, your switch is inside. So electric switch outside, propane switch will be on the inside. Fifty amp power cord hooks up right here. Have an unsafe shower. Um, travel rack, spare tire. Now this one's wired for backup camera, so if you get the itch, you can uh, plug in a backup camera. There's a quick connect underneath, so if you want to grill outside, you can certainly do that. And then, like we talked about, this one's got two ACs, one on the front, one on the rear, and it's got the auto level. Um, all your breakers and fuses are there, so if you have any issues, that's a good place to go. Um, this turns the refrigerator inverter on, so it activates it to um, power up the fridge. This is your monitor panel. It's going to tell us what state the battery's in, the fresh water, toilet, bathroom sink and shower, and then the kitchen sink. Uh, water pumps for the fresh water tank. Propane switch for the water heaters next to it. And then there's various lights, um, awning extend retract. And you got one, two, three, and then the bedroom slide buttons in the bedroom. And uh, this is your auto level system. What you do is um, you hit auto mode. And if you want to level it, you hit auto level, okay. 
it'll level front to back, side to side, and that's all automatic, and it takes about two minutes to do completely. Trifold sofa, fireplace runs off electricity, that'll kick out heat, and then you got your DVD player and your audio video plugs there for it, and then you got a mount for the back of the TV. And then uh, here's your, your mid bunk room. That flips up, and then you got a sofa there too, or you can jackknife the sofa and uh, and use it for uh, sitting. Here's your shower, toilet. You got a ground fault for all the outlets here, so if it trips this outlet, it'll probably affect all of them. Air conditioner is blowing cold. It's about 95 degrees out. There's your TV. It's in the box. And then the bed is powered, so if you push that button, it'll raise and lower the top of the bed. So you can kind of sit up. There's another bracket in here, so if you want to hang a TV here, you can. This is the thermostat for the second AC. So you can run just the fan. Or you can put it on uh, cool and set your thermostat. And that's all. Trailer, all the jacks are down and uh, it's auto level. Walking around in here kind of holds it up. But once it's done, it'll say auto level success. And at that point, you'd be good. Um, Stove top, igniter's uh, piezo's right on the left. So, what you do is you push it in to hold it. And as you're holding it in, you turn the piezo and that'll light that burner. Same thing with the oven. Push in and hold it, rotate the piezo at the same time, that'll ignite the pilot. Sounds like our trailer's level. That beep alarm went off. So it's ready. Um, so let's say you wanna leave. You hit auto reconnect and okay, and it'll remember the drop off point. So it remembers where the last spot we were before you hit auto level. So it remembers that spot, it picks the jacks up, and it puts the nose right where you need it to be. Um, I hope this video helps. Of course, if you need any help, um, there's instructions here. You can always call me right on my cell phone. Um, Thank you, Jesse, and appreciate it. Take care.